mask check waistband check water mm -hmm. check let the self love sunday begin people and welcome back to my channel i'm kapana shimange and this is how i do things now if you thought that i was going to go waste a whole mask just for this video shall never i haven't finished my 10 minutes yet this is how i do things the show where you send me your questions and i'll let you know how i would do things now i can use it as advice take it don't take it it is completely up to you now today it is very clear what this is all about i'm in my exercise gear i've got my face mask on i've got my waistband on get hydrated get right see i lower stay hydrated so we are good i am happy with myself today i'm within self-love so i got this question from my instagram from a lady who's just like a i'm seeing all of this self-love sunday stuff what is it do i need it what is the point so today i'm going to tell you the 411 on self-care what is it why is it so important let me just tell you right now some of you guys you sir you are sour you are just dehydrated things are just going wrong in your life and the reason why is because you guys don't love yourself i mean self-love is in the name right self loving you love other people you love your children you love your parents you don't love yourself you don't take time to love yourself so as a result you're ugly from the inside out all of the ugliness is seeping through your skin and making your skin darker than it should be it's making it drier than it should be you are an ugly personality you are just angry at everyone why because yourself has not been loved you guys are stressing me so much that my mask is moving but it's because you guys are not loving yourself enough that's what happens when you don't love yourself self-love is taking time just to say you know what taking time off for this one hour or this 30 minutes or this 10 minutes pause on mom pause on wife pause on being a boss i am just gonna be me i'm going to love me i'm gonna show myself some time now there's different ways to this self-love sunday thing right and it doesn't always have to be on sundays it doesn't always have to be on face masks it's only just one dimension of it so today i'm going to break it all down how can you love yourself to a point where you are a ray of sunshine where you are actually a funny person where you're a person that is nice to talk to not one of those people who just walks around and you just look sour those people you just don't want to talk to because you know that if i talk to that person i'm gonna have a bad day you want to love yourself to a point where you radiate the goodness from the inside out you want to be good with yourself you want to attract the good things in your life you want to be hydrated all of those good things happen when you have self-love so if you have a question that you want to send to me head over to my instagram and look for this picture right here at kopana shimange in my insta story highlights click on the little pink box or reply and let me know what you want me to talk about in our next video but now we have to get into the self-love situation let's break it down and get into it first things first what is self-love self-love actually is really closely related to the word sabbatical so these are sabbaticals that you take time off that you take to love yourself to appreciate yourself to work on yourself when was the last time that you actually took a break from things took just 10 minutes in the day to just Usa. you actually have to take some time to do it and i don't know some of my moms will be like we never did the self-love things in our days self-love for man nonsense man it's not nonsense that's why you're a seer person you want to ask yourself why am i always so sour why am i always so angry it's because you don't love yourself you're so busy giving off all the time that you have no time to take in and here's the thing that i always hear from other people especially from the husband he's always saying how can you feed people from an empty well you need to refill and replenish and be well in order to feed and love and give to other people so let's not just box the self-love thing into just this one category of masks and exercise and bubble baths and whitening our teeth. 
let's broaden our perspective here this is not a one-dimensional thing there's five different types of self-love and if you're new to this whole thing and you want to find out how can i get into the self-love thing i believe i have a better personality it's just stuck between layers and layers and layers of thorns and bricks and ugliness bringing it out is all about giving yourself enough love and these are the five different types of self-love that you can get started with the first type of self-love is physical and this is both in and out what do i mean by in what are you eating boo <sighs> your toilet situations may not be good you may have not gone to the toilet in three days you may be thinking to yourself there's something wrong with my system your skin may be reacting self-love is also about what you eat and loving yourself enough to keep it balanced having some fiber having the nice nutrition in it making sure that you have enough iron making sure that you're taking enough food to love your body from the inside when you eat well it all comes out have you ever seen how constipation makes you a, a very angry person i promise you this will help you look at the food that you're eating balance it out and you'll have a better experience with your physicalness the outside is things like this your masks your exercise the waistbands all of those things are the physical part and a lot of the times people tend to just box themselves in to this one type of self-love you'll see on sunday is trending hashtag self-love selfie mask on self-love up in here but they aren't talking about the other dimensions of self-love this is only one type and the physical yes it is good your skin will be good it will be hydrated because you're drinking a whole lot of water but if you don't focus on the other types of self-love then you'll be out of whack with your creator you'll still be an unhappy angry person because you just are only glowing on the outside but you're not glowing on the inside right now something i'm really enjoying a lot of is taking care of my skin i feel as though i haven't been really doing the greatest of jobs over some time and now i'm taking time to actually love my skin and it is showing it is glowing it is hydrated it is moist it is elastic right now i have the nivea q10 mask on my face these are available you can get them at your clicks and discams and they're really nice so this is an anti-wrinkle and firming sheet mask which only needs 10 minutes which my 10 minutes is about to be up right now and i'm loving it yes it's a bit cold for winter but trust me use it you'll see that it will start to work on your face firm it up tighten it up and you'll see that your face is just looking good smooth and more elastic the second type of self-love is emotional babe are you okay how are you doing or sharp how is things in life? How are you handling them? What has been happening in your world? And how are you dealing with it? We often don't take time to just check in with our emotions. If Rishabu inside, right? Are we dealing with things properly? Are we coping with things? Are there things on our chest that we need to get out? And a lot of the times we don't get it out. The easy way is to do this have yourself a friend or your husband or someone to talk to to express exhale you know the way in the move the movie waiting to exhale exhale lala just exhale and life will be so much better you that's that is the alarm for my sheet mask excuse me while i continue to massage my face throughout this talk all right so where was i number three is mental now this is the same we have to do things to take things out and do things to bring things in our brains can get clogged up just clogged up with so many things just going on especially when you are a mrs mom boss right there's things in your marriage taking care of your child and also taking care of your career it's a lot to deal with love and you need to make sure that you are able to process all of those things again i like writing things down so i have a journal which i write all of the things that i need to write out what am i busy with what are the things that i need to take care of trying to memorize and keep all of those things in your brain will make you go crazy and you do not want to do that you want to make sure that you basically mentally digest everything have word vomit as i would say just dump everything dump all of your things mental dump things onto a piece of paper write them all out and make sure that they're there so you can see them that helps you to process things mentally and declog another thing when was the last time you read a book 
your vocabulary may be shrinking. You're just there on some, mm, uh, what's that word again? And you can't think of it. And the reason why is that sometimes our brains tend to slow down a bit because we're not feeding them. So doing things such as reading a book every now and again, listening to podcasts and listening to music helps our brains to exercise. So you want to move that mental muscle the same way you want to move physically. Your brain also needs some time to exercise, get things in. So make sure you take some time daily to process everything that's on your mind, whatever you need to remember, whatever you need to process, write it down, get it out of your brain. And that way your brain will have less to deal with and you can think better and process better. Number four is social. Get rid of those very toxic relationships. I've heard about this all the time. You know that friend or jealous all the time or that friend who never has anything nice to say or that other friend who is always there, just always wanting things from you. But as soon as you need her, that girl is gone. Toxic relationships bring you down. Social self-love is all about keeping the good relationships and making sure that whatever is toxic in your life from a social perspective, you need to get rid of those. Now imagine the weight that's lifted off your shoulders when you know that that, that friend who's always bringing me down, the friend that I always have to work on my self-confidence every time I leave her, she's gone. I've spoken to her and I said, listen friend, I think that we've grown apart. I think it's better if we don't spend that much time together anymore. And you need to be honest with this. Don't ghost your friends because then they're going to think we're all snacks. Don't ghost people. You need to break up with some of your friends sometimes. Other things that have to do with social is do you have friends? If you don't have friends, make friends. You and your man, you need to make sure that that relationship is taken care of. Your social life, social self-love is looking at your interactions with other people. Have you called your grandmother? Have you called your mom? Have you been in contact with your brothers and sisters? Those things are stressful. And those are the things that make you a seer human being. And so you need to work on those things. So look at your social relationships and detox where you need to detox and bring in the healthy bits that you need to bring in. The fifth and final form of self-love is spiritual your spirituality now to be honest with you i feel like this waistband is blocking my spirituality it's putting me in a place where i feel like god cannot find me so <sighs> right so spirituality is all about your relationship with your maker how is that how are you feeling inside i feel very freed right now right are you having an open communication path with your God? Are you meditating on the word? Are you meditating on your spirituality? Are you meditating on the relationship that you have? Are you praying, constantly communicating with your God? Are you praising? Are you worshiping? Are you giving it up to God saying, listen, I'm so happy. This is how I praise. This is how I give to you. The only thing I can give is my praise, my worship. Are you having time for that? Spirituality is one of the things I think out of all the self-love parts, this is something we need to take every single day. Taking time out and saying, this time right here is only for my spirituality. It's only for me and my God. This is the time that we have to praise, proclaim, and to go through and pray, to go through that relationship and to build it. This is the thing that will anchor you in strength. So when you have this part of your self-love down, it's self-love to have a relationship with your God. It's self-love to exercise that relationship. When you have this part down, everything else falls into place. Everything else falls into place. All right, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed the self-love episode. I know this was a little bit different seeing this, the face mask, the waistband. We're keeping it together. We're keeping it tight. Self-love will help you to become the best version of yourself. You may be wondering, why am I reacting so quickly? Why do I have such a big temper? Why is it that I get irritated quickly? Why can't I laugh at jokes as much as I used to? Why does my skin look so dehydrated? It's because you're not taking the time for self-love. Take some time to drink some water, to sit by yourself, to smell the fresh air, to take a little exercise, to pray, to read your Bible. These are all forms of self-love. And the best way to fit them into your life is to create a really good morning or evening routine that helps you to bring all of those things together and for you to give yourself some time 
to love yourself. Now, if you love this episode, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below, how do you practice self-love? Have you not really thought about it before? Or are you going to start with it and make it something that is top of your priority list? Now, remember to be the best version of yourself. You need to work with yourself and love yourself. I'm Kapanish Shemange and this is it for how I do things. I'll see you guys next time.